right, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to make a video about this item, uh, this uh, piece of art that I uh, discovered thrifting yesterday. I made a, a short about it and it got um, some interest. So it's definitely a gorgeous piece. So I wanna make it a, a full length video. So this is a, a Milagro cross. Milagro is Spanish for miracle. Uh, the artist is a Mexican folk artist named Estela Agazón, and she lived from 1966 to 2009. So Estela was known for these crosses which incorporate these tiny milagros, which are small devotional charms. It's re there's really a world within this work. That's what I want to kind of feature in this video. I'm outside, it's, it's a cloudy day, but I want to bring us outside to try to capture the detail. Um, milagros are these devotional charms typically associated with Catholicism. Um, my research didn't indicate if um, the artist Estella was you know, Catholic or not, but you know, it doesn't matter. But these are, you know, traditionally used across Latin America. They're associated with prayer and, you know, Catholicism. You know, there's the Virgin Mary. So there is imagery that is associated with, you know, the, the Sacred Heart with uh, Catholicism. But there are some other images in here that I that are quite interesting as well. So um, this is a cross made of wood. It's a big chunk of wood. There is... Let me try to zoom in here. A maker stamp right there, as you can see. I haven't really, this is my first time looking at that up closely, so that's interesting. And I love how there's these charms, kind of like in all corners. Let's look at them. Cool. Some kind of bird. Is that a bird? Sacred Heart. This one's bent. I love how this is bent. Now, I see like a beast in here. This is what caught my eye when I found this at a thrift store. Like this face. It looks almost like a beast or a, a monster or ape like creature. It's upside down sacred heart. It looks like some breasts right there. People praying, a feather. A cat, a more realistic heart. Pig. I don't know what that is. There's no date on this. So I'm assuming it's, you know, late 20th century. She died in 2009. So, you know, I mean, late 20th century, I guess. A few people asked, you know, what's it worth? I've seen these, um, that's a good question. But on eBay, go for around like $150 to $400. So somewhere in there, I think this is a more intricate, uh, I like this one. This is a nicer one, a nicer one, you know, compared to the others that I've seen. So this could be worth 300, give or take. But it's, it's this kind of almost reminds me of Sid Dickens, who makes art tiles, memory blocks that are very chunky. They're six by eight tiles that have textures similar to this, but this, this probably predates it because he started in the late nine, early 90s. This is a Mexican folk artist. So that's, that will be, uh, you know, I buy, sell, and collect art. I can't keep it all. I would love to keep this, but I have to sell it. Otherwise, I'll starve. So this work will be in my eBay store soon. Uh, my link is in my YouTube bio. It's Vintage Classic Solutions. So this artist, again, is uh, Estela Ugazon. And this is a uh, Milagro... Ross. 
a mystical little world within. I think we've seen all corners. I love these cats that are cool. The hand. I think we've seen it all. Bull. A leg. I wish I knew if there were, I mean, I, I wish I knew more about the symbolism. What her ideas were. There wasn't too much online about her, but I'm going to keep looking. I hope you enjoy this look at this Milagro Cross. Thanks for checking in.